Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. Today I am heading into the grocery store for my weekly grocery haul. I got my meal plan all set and my list ready to go. This week is going to be a little bit different just because my daughter Lila is on spring break. So with both kids home with me all day, I know I got to keep things easy and simple to get them fast meals, but still make sure they're pretty healthy. So let's head into HEB. I'm going to grab my groceries and meet you guys back at home for the haul, as well as a little bit of food prep. And then I'll go over my weekly meal plan I came up with with y'all. All right, I'm back from HEB from our grocery run. Let's get into this week's haul. I think I did really good. I only spent right at $150 and I got a lot of great staples that I'll be able to stock up my fridge and freezer with. Lots of great healthy fresh produce. For some fresh veggies this week, I have a large crown of this is broccoli. I grabbed a bag of mini bell peppers. I have some mini baby carrots as well as sugar snap peas. Since it is spring break week and my kids are home, I know the word snack, snack, snack is going to be coming at me. So we are actually going to be making a little snackle box that's pre-prepped. So I can just pull that out when we're needing like a quick little snack in the afternoon. Also for fruit, I have a bag of red seedless grapes. This is a bag of frozen wild blueberries as well as fresh blueberries. These ones will be for snacking on. And I also got a large bag of mandarin oranges, a large five pound bag of golden potatoes. I really think I got a great deal on meat. Usually I bulk stock up my meat at Costco, but honestly, our local HEB has had some really great deals lately. I got this large package of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. It's two and a half pounds for $8.67. The boneless, skinless chicken breast was also on sale today. Four and a half pounds, just over four and a half pounds for $2.99 a pound. This large package was just under $14. And then this is four and a half pounds of 80-20 ground beef. The original price was $19.44 for the package, but because we had a 25% off of this package of meat coupon, that saved like $5. This was like a $14 package of meat. I grabbed a gallon of whole milk for Nora, quart of heavy whipping cream. I'm actually going to make this into butter. We love making our own homemade fresh butter. Since the kids are home with me this week, you know, it's something we'll do as a cooking activity. So we'll make butter and then what's left over the buttermilk we can use for biscuits this weekend. We'll make some homemade fresh bread this week too to go with it. So a little cooking day with me and my girls. I got some more of the Chobani uh, coffee creamer. This one is in cinnamon coffee cake flavor. That's one of the newer flavors out and I absolutely love it. I love cinnamon. This is so, so good. I just pop a little bit into my espresso and then add in some almond milk to top it off. Or if we're making a regular pot of coffee, I just use one to two tablespoons of this. We needed some more honey and I wanted to make sure I got some local honey. My older daughter Lila and I both have a lot of spring allergies just with like pollens and stuff. And I have really noticed that doing local honey helps us. Um, we were doing that when we were in Georgia and it really helped with our spring allergies when we lived there. Now we live in Texas, so we got a Texas local one to try. We're gonna be making some homemade mini muffins for a snack this week, so that will go in there. They're a really yummy recipe. I've shared the base recipe of that one before, but we're actually gonna throw some sprinkles in this time at Lila's request to do a funfetti version, so that's gonna be fun to do. I have a loaf of bread here. This is just like for sandwiches and toast or grilled cheeses for lunch. A pack of some spinach and herb wraps um, to go with like the lunch meat and stuff. Lila also was asking for this because she loves doing hummus wraps, like hummus veggie wraps. So we'll do a wrap with some hummus on it, a little bit of cheese, lettuce, and beans actually. She likes on it too, black beans. So she's gonna have some wraps this week. I also picked up some bakery um, butter tortillas just to have on hand in case we're doing some quesadillas for lunch or something like that. I did pick up, they had a good sale on their deli meat, the store brand. It was $2 off one pound of the store brand deli meat. So I got a pound of their oven roasted turkey and then I just got some Swiss cheese as well to do for sandwiches. Here's a pack of just sharp cheddar cheese slices. We'll use this when the kids want grilled cheese for lunch. That's kind of what I did for spring break was I sat Lila down with me and we made our meal plan together because I'm trying to limit the amount of time it takes me to make every single meal. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just gonna be in the kitchen the entire week between making meals, cleaning dishes, and resetting everything. We picked out like two simple ideas for breakfasts and lunches that she'll still get a choice every day and get to pick what she wants, but they're easy, 
we have everything on hand and they're easy cleanup. So for lunch, it was the veggie hummus wraps as well as grilled cheese sandwiches. Here's a couple cans of no salt added black beans for those wraps. Um, I got some chips to do on the side with sandwiches and wraps this week. So she picked out the cheddar sour cream as well as sour cream and onion. My daughter likes sour cream, what can I say? And then some zero sugar Dr. Pepper as like a fun mix it up drink for mom. And yeah, I think that's kind of it. We still had a lot of like dry goods, like snacks, cereal bars, that kind of stuff in our pantry from last week's haul. But this is a lot of good staples for our meals for this week. Let's make a snackle box. Some pre-washed mini carrots. You want a carrot? Already stocking me for the veggies. Oh, Mimi. Always one for Millie too. Next up, some sugar snap peas. Mommy's favorite. This one came. You like the peas too? Crunch, 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 munch, munch, munch. Excuse you, what are you stealing, thief? More carrots. Carrots, carrots, carrots. Choo, choo, choo. Hi, baby. And here is this week's weekly meal plan for my family. This week I'm doing a little something different and I'm trying to make all of my dinners lower in point, mostly focusing on getting in good protein and vegetables. But I've noticed how much better I feel in the evenings when I eat a dinner that's predominantly protein with a good side of veggies. I always feel really satisfied. I'm not hungry afterwards, looking for a lot of late night snacks and I feel good the next morning. So I'm doing a little experiment this week and I have a lot of high protein, heavy on the veggies kind of dinners planned. I'm gonna record all these dinners this week and do a video for you guys with all of the recipes and include how I felt this week eating this way. So first up, Monday night, I have some steaks in the fridge and I like to serve mine with tons of veggies on the side, which are zero points when I cook them with just a little bit of avocado oil spray and air fry them and use basic seasonings. So this dinner is going to be eight points a serving based on the amount I plan on eating of the steak and zero point veg. Tuesday night, we're doing a chicken stir fry over rice, which is going to be six points. Wednesday night, one of our favorites, Josh and I love doing a twist on Big Mac salads. I've shared that one multiple times on the channel and I will link a video with that recipe in it here in the iCard. Thursday, I always like to reserve one night in the middle of the week for leftovers. If we don't have any leftovers, we'll just pull a simple dinner from like the freezer pantry kind of thing from my staples. Friday, I'm going to do a really easy but delicious Tuscan chicken sheet pan meal. I love that everything goes onto one pan, it cooks all together. I only have one pan to clean. That's gonna come out to four points a serving. Saturday, I should have a little bit more time to cook since Josh will be home. So I'm gonna do some honey garlic chicken thighs with a side of roast veggies. And my new favorite way to do chicken thighs is in the air fryer. They come out so juicy and tender every time. This one's gonna come out to eight points a serving on the WW plan. And then Sunday, we are going out to eat. This mom is gonna celebrate getting through the entire spring break week. We're gonna go out and have a little fun as a family that evening. Like I mentioned in the earlier video, I'm keeping breakfast, lunch, and snacks pretty simple this week. Breakfast ideas will either stick with some scrambled eggs, fruit, and chicken sausage, 
or oatmeal with fruit. Both of my girls love this and I love that I can make one meal for all three of us each morning. For lunch ideas, we have those veggie hummus wraps or grilled cheese and soup. I could also bounce back and do some leftovers if there are any in the fridge from our dinners the previous evening. Snack ideas for myself, there's always fruit to snack on. That's one of my favorite evening snacks I've been doing instead of like a dessert or salty snack. I'm just grabbing a fresh piece of fruit at night and it's kind of just taking that sweet that I crave, but keeping it really fresh. In the middle of the day, I can always do a protein shake or I now have that whole veggie tray and dip ready to go. My girls are gonna blow through it, but I have extra veggies as backup in the fridge that I can top it off with as we go throughout the week. And I don't think I explained it in the video, but the dip in the middle is just a zero point ranch dressing. I share that all the time with you guys. It's plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I mix in some ranch seasoning powder, and then I just trickle in a little bit of water at a time until it reaches the perfect consistency, whether it's for a salad dressing, a dip, etc. Also, as it comes up throughout the week, I mentioned I'm gonna do some baking with the girls just as something to do. So we're gonna make some mini muffins. Those usually come out to three points for two with my usual base of banana muffin that I use. I'll put a link in the description box for my most recent video that I shared that mini muffin recipe with, and you can just switch out the add-ins and flavors of the muffins with whatever you want. You just need to adjust the points. And it's just a fun activity for us to do together on one of the days of their spring break, maybe when the weather is not super great outside, we can do a little mommy-daughter baking day. Anyway, that's the plan for the week. Thanks so much for checking out my weekly grocery haul and meal plan video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe so you don't miss out on all of those great recipes I've planned for the upcoming week. And until next time, bye. bye. I get up, I always do.